Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the SCA Games. This is the Southeast Asia Regional for Spring Championship, and I am Babel. Hopefully not my twin clone, uh, Roboto Bibolino, that's <laughs> in the background the whole day. Uh, we're having some sound issues, and we acknowledge that. So hopefully this is uh, resolved, but if it's not, keep, l keep just throwing your feedback so that the producers are on it. They're working on it throughout the entire time already. We apologize for the sound issues. That's not what we want, but uh, clearly we are doing. they are doing their best to fix it. Me, I'm just here to talk, so... Yeah, just uh, my hands are tied. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, that said, we're now going to the game that we are actually waiting for the entire time. It's going to be one of our show, one out of the Philippines, as well as resurgence from Singapore. The fight for Southeast Asia begins. Here we go. Winner's bracket, upper finals. And curse all going to be a battleground. Uh, decided by resurgence, one of our show one with the first pick and ban. The ban is Zagara. Uh, that's a bit of a ban towards resurgence. Uh, resurgence banning out the Uther straight up against Renovasha one. And we are also going to be able to do a vote in the chat. So do let us know if you support Renovasho or Resurgence. Uh, the admins in the chat will let you guys know how to vote. That said, the first pick is going to go gonna be the Ragar. The Uther Ban Instant Ragar pickup. Resurgence now taking a bit of time to decide. They don't want to give Greymane to Renovasho one. Um, yeah, you just don't want to play against his co as Greymane. That guy is so good on Greymane. It's pretty mind-blowing. Now with Resurgence going for a second pick. Possibly going to be the Murden. If it's Murden, Greymane, I think it's a pretty good start. But they don't have the Uther to work with. Now, no Uther. Some teams just don't want to consider ETC. But somehow, ETC is still a very strong pickup. Uh, it's kind of tricky, though. Zagar that's, that got banned. And uh, that's Sonia now that's getting shadow picked by Renovasho. They clearly know Resurgence. They clearly know Resurgence has got a slightly better... Uh, Sonia, they, they have always been on point with Sonia, so you're gonna have to be very careful when you play against Resurgence. Don't want to give them that Sonia. Now Renovasho won with that Sonia pickup. Last pick here by Renovasho. Having to decide what it's gonna be. Um, couple of options really. Would love to have a range damage deal at this stage. Probably wants wants to lock in a Leeming before it gets banned out in the second ban. Uh, there's also a. I don't think they're actually gonna prioritize any wars anymore. Yeah, Leeming is going to be really good here. Or maybe just going straight out for a uh, another damage dealer, uh, the Jaina. Now because Leeming got picked up, Resurgence here will not be looking to ban out Jaina. But probably uh, Falstad is going to get banned. Falstad's climb up through the tier listing a lot more. So the funny thing here is if Renovasho bans out Falstad, Resurgence probably still has that as Jaina to work with. There's also Vala. We know that Resurgence, they run Vala for the fair bit. So that's actually a pretty good... Uh, pick up there for them. Uh, banning out a Tassadar. Ooh, I like that. Mm. But kind of tricky because they haven't picked up their own support yet. Could be looking at a solo Malfurion support. That should just be the case though. Um, okay, so guys, just a bit of a public service announcement. Do know that it is not um, it is not going to be a, it's not renovation. It's not relics. It's resurgence as well as renovasho. That's as simple as that. Given the fact that Renovasho 2 has been knocked out of this competition, I think it's safe to say that this will be the last remaining Renovasho team, and it will be the Feldstead ban. No Tessa on this site. Resurgence now with two more picks. Got to be very careful about this point here. Cursed Hollow, um, no Feldstead, and they have the Murdering Greymane. They got some really strong pickups, but they still can consider going for Thrall, Zeratul. Those are the picks that are pretty... Uh, viable for Resurgence, and I like that Shadow Pick Zeratul. So far, the only team that understands Zeratul. Would love to see Resurgence go for this one. For Renovasho, give it up for them. Also, they have a very solid lineup. Uh, not completed yet, but Resurgence with Zeratul. That's a very good crowd control on Void Prison, and a bit of an uh, burst on the back line, but they don't have Uther to worry about. So and they also ban out the Tessadar. So I'm I'm wondering how this works for them. If it's a single target kill and it's Morales, she's not gonna be catching Zara Tool. But if it's gonna be a Karazim, uh, maybe get some form of a front line heal. But apart from that, this is actually looking really, really bad for resurgence in terms of the support department. It's gonna be tricky. Okay. Um so Jaina, Zara Tool, Murden, Grey Main, and then on this side for Renovasha one. They got two more picks here. They need one more warrior. I don't think Solo Sonia is going to cut it. So one more warrior as well as one more range damage dealer. 
That's going to be really good to have. So if it's uh, one more, um, that uh, I think one more warrior, I would like to see the EPC. I think that's okay. I don't think it's that big of a problem to pick up the EPC here. There's no instant counter on the side of Resurgence. Just um, also, even if you don't want to go for Marsh Pit, Stage Dive is going to be able to relocate and good value there. Vala getting picked up. Okay, range damage, Vala, Li Ming. Uh, kind of tricky though. I would like to see Vala go for the Hungering Arrow build straight up. But I know that there's this hybrid build going on right now with the multi shot, uh, composite arrow getting picked up first, and then you go for, for the Puncturing Arrow and then Repeating Arrow. That's probably the case here uh, for uh, the Vala. And a uh, pretty tricky position though, but for Renovasha, they need at least one more warrior. And we'll see how that's actually going to work out. Meanwhile, guys, the votes are still going on. So let us know who you support uh, with the uh, voting system that's in the chat. You don't have to go anywhere. Else, just vote in chat. We're doing a tabulation as we go on. And Renovar Show is the last pick here. Has to be a warrior. Could be a Joanna. I don't know. But we'd love to see EPC. For me, it has to be EPC. There's only a couple of warriors that are really, really good when it comes to the tank department. And the tank department will will have to be the um, the EPC, Muradin, uh, Tyrell, and stuff like that. Last pick here for Resurgence. What's it going to be? A support. Morales. Are we going to see some medivac? Zara Tool's not going to get much of security from her. Uh, Karazim's my default pick here. I would actually really like to see Karazim. Divine Palm Karazim, just to be honest with you. I don't think that 7 Size Strike is going to be good enough against two warriors, but... Uh, I think Divine Pump at least keeps our tool alive. There's a few other options uh, that you can that you can go for, really. The Malfurion would be the classic standard staple pick here. Um, we've seen Resurgence play Malfurion before, so at least they got that. Oh, Soul Taronda. That's fine as well. Uh, Murden Taronda is pretty good. The thing about Murden Taronda is that it uh, it's kind of tricky to pull off. By the way, guys, this is Resurgence Southeast Asia. It's a Resurgence Singapore. It's not Resurgence NA. Resurgence NA, uh, same team name, but a different team altogether. So now they have that Taranda support. Um, would be also pretty good. I, I completely did not remember about the Taranda. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Taranda, Murden is a great follow-up. Also uh, very strong in the early game. The only problem here is that it's first hollow, so rotations may actually be a bit hard. Very big bell ground. And they have a lot of uh, stunts actually on that side. Muradin, Taronda, Jaina with some slow Zara tool with extra slow, a stick there spike, Grey main with a finishing uh, kill there. Alright, so let us know who you support in the chat using the voting system. Resurgence or Renovasha One. Resurgence out of Singapore, Renovasha One out of the Philippines. We are actually almost ready to go into the game right now. And very, very exciting series here. The upper bracket finals. RSG up against Aryan 1. Love to tell you guys, Renovasio, this is the team that's previously known as the second best team in 2015, a road to BlizzCon. They lost to Relics. Relics won them. Uh, but they were able to take one game off Relics. And that's the old Relics. Now, this is the new Relics. And the new Relics already got beaten by Renovasio yesterday. In day one, clean 2-0 game. Relics now is in the lower bracket, waiting for the loser of this uh, series to m match up against them. Uh, Resurgence is the new best Singaporean team, you could say that. They have been around for uh, a fairly short time. But somewhere in January, I think the last week of January, they just dethroned Relics as the best Singaporean team in uh, their own uh, Spring Pro League. So very excited right here. So the ties have been eliminated. There's still two Singaporean teams in the running, one Filipino team. I'm excited because I'm Singaporean. I'm, ju I'm just going to be honest. I don't think I'm choosing sides. There's no sides to choose here. I want the best team to win because the best team has got the heavy duty of flying our colors uh, high and uh, really just proud in the World Finals. And that's the Spring Championship in uh, Seoul, Korea. So, we're going to actually disclose results of the poll right now before the game begins. It's 49, I think. 47 against 53. Uh, 47 against 53%. 47% going towards Resurgence. 52 against Renovasio. It's a very, very, uh, very, very clean and split percentage right here. 
50-50. So let us know who you support. You can vote more than once, I think. Can they vote more than once? Brendan? No. Okay. So just uh, spam chat. It's fine. We appreciate your support regardless. Uh, whether it's Renovatio or it's Resurgence, the ticket to South Korea, only one, uh, only for one team. Curse Hollow. Curse Hollow is one of the most trend and tested battlegrounds. We actually saw this battleground being used a couple of times in 2015, and uh, most of the top teams still love this battleground. I think one of the iconic teams in uh, the world that really likes Curse Hollow is uh, Cloud9. They're very comfortable with this one. Same goes for Relics. Uh, of course, they're on different level, pretty clearly, but uh, Relics, the old Relics, new Relics, regardless, they like Curse Hollow a lot. Resurgence also choosing Curse Hollow here. Very, very slow and consistent strategic game. Do note that there's a couple of tributes that can spawn here in Curse Hollow, but uh, they are not the deciding factor. There's a lot of debate going out here that actually there's a, a discussion of whether it's the boss or the tribute, and I would like to think that it's the boss that decides this game, not the uh, not just the tribute or the curse. And it seems like we are actually going into game here. Resurgence up against Renovasho. This lineup looks very fair. A couple of uh, tricky position here for RSG, and that's because they have the Zero Tool. It's very hard to pull off a Zero Tool here in SEA. Uh, one joke that's running pretty, pretty strong in Southeast Asia is that they all have their settings on low, which is why they can see Zero Tool, but even if it's on stealth. <laughs> all right. You guys probably heard the uh, the sound in the background, but seems like we are actually going to have to do a remake because somebody did not join the game. And all right, once uh, we get the tie ops um, back into this game, we'll be able to go for it. Do know, by the way, guys, there is a Thai stream, uh, Thai language stream that's going on on Twitch as well. It's Com Gamer TV. So I'm going to provide the English cast, and uh, the guy there is going to do the Thai cast. Meanwhile, we're going to enjoy my face uh, while we're changing screen, and yeah. So for all of you guys who have been asking me if I'm actually going to be casting in Seoul, Korea, uh, I don't know that, that yet. Yeah, no information on that. O obviously, I hope to be there. There's a lot of friends that I've met throughout 2015. I'd love to see them again. Um, but it really depends on the organizers, and I I'm currently just hoping first that a Singaporean team wins because I'm Singaporean and then second that I get the opportunity to do that yeah but that said regardless of who it is I'm very sure that's still gonna be quality casting uh, th there's a lot of good casters in the scene right now so they're all gonna do a pretty good job very excited for uh, Heroes of the Storm in 2016 uh, a lot of circuit that's gonna come right up and it's uh, the first one is actually a stopover in Asia yeah which if you think about it somewhat it's my territory so <laughs> Well, obviously, Tastosis as well as Wolf has got a lot more to say to that, but <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to figure that out. All right. I'm excited. I really am, and this is, um, this is a great start to the year. Um, we already got a few good teams qualifying for Seoul, and that's Cloud9 as well as Neventic. I'm always split when it comes to Neventic. I, I'm a huge fan of uh, Glaurang, and, and he's a great friend of mine as well. Um, although there were some discussions about the ethics of the way the game went down, in, in the game between Neventic and uh, Cognitive, but I felt that both teams played the best. Regardless of um, how some certain uh, ego issues were being put in place uh, or, or uh, circumstance, I, I think it's not a big of uh, a deal to really make it, you know, a big issue. But yeah, so <coughs> a bit of an update on myself, my health. I've been having this cough for the last month and it's still not going away. So in case you're, you're hearing me, uh, losing some uh, train of thought or maybe just basically uh, struggling to breathe. That's because they put me in a basement and I need some help here. Hashtag free Babel. Put that on the chat, please. Here we go. But okay, so they put two posters here just to make sure I, I don't look like I'm in distress, but I, I'm sweating a lot. As you can see my forehead. Uh, <laughs> They've been beating me for the last nine hours, boys. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, so um, Novantix is representing America, Cloud9 as well. Out of China, we got... Uh, well, we got Edward Gaming, as well as uh, the E-Star, the team that people thought w should have won BlizzCon last year, but because of visa issues. Very unfortunate. Europe is deciding who it is today. 
Uh, we also got the Australia New Zealand region deciding that it's already going to be the negative synergy going out from ANZ. SEA is going to decide one champion today, and here we go. Upper bracket, game number one. Resurgence out of Singapore on the blue team. It's going to be CW, CW, CW on that uh, Meridian, as well as Veneta playing as a gray main. Capricorn on that Jaina Tanuki will be playing as a solo Turanda. Zappi going to be on that Zeratul. And on this side for the red team, it's going to be Renovasha 1 out of the Philippines. Give it up for them, please. Ha ha, are going to be playing as the ETC. His Koa will be Ovala. Uh, Sonic going to be played by VYY. We also got Stronger on the Ragar. This guy's a great support player. Las Benales, Misery Pros on Li Ming. Very different strategies already from both sides. You can see the red team just splitting the lane, just soaking it up. It's a big battleground rotation wise. It's going to be able to give you some advantage, but still, you want to soak the lane as much as possible. Li Ming in the bottom area looking for a bit of a bottom lane push going on. And uh, definitely going to look for a bit of advantage here from that perspective. But clearly you have to be very careful as well. Vendetta top lane on the gray main up against uh, Sonia. Sonia using Asian Spear already. Zappy from the back line, Singularity Spike connecting as well. Some right clicks going down, but it's not going to be enough for a kill. Still 50% HP burst, very, very nicely done. If we look at the talent options here, uh, this is what I like, Wolf Heart. This basically re lowers the cooldown of uh, In Abyss, and it's, it's really, really important. You also have a Regeneration Master getting picked up, Reverberation, Empower, Deep Chill. Uh, not going to be the Lingering Chill though. I like Lingering Chill because I think that if you do the math, it actually makes more sense. But it's still kind of fine to go for the, um, just the just the Deep Chill. I think it's okay. It's a bit more of a slow in the first four seconds compared to a, just a prolonged slow. Helps with lockdowns. Um, on this side though, do not, it's going to be Empower. So this is uh, more of like a cooldown reduction. Spamming the Sentinel for vision purposes. That's about it. We'll not be expecting Tarana to go a full-on heal build. I actually like to see her go for uh, Celestial Attunement because I think that's going to help stack up level 13's um, overflowing light pretty well. To cope with the heals that Ragar can provide, at least you're going to sustain pretty well. But nope, it looks like they're going for full-fledged burst. Stronger, a little bit of trouble there. Capricorn with the Code of Coal, just um, basically saying hi. Top lane, Vendetta up against VYY. It's a bit of a melee brawl going out there, but Seismic Slam is definitely going to win it from for VYY. There's a swipes going in. Mid lane, still pretty okay. So far, no kills just yet, but you can see blue team going for a bit of extra EXP lead here. Uh, that could be because they fought uh, the top lane Sonic off the lane a little bit. But it's not really half a level. It's uh, just like about 10% EXP advantage. That said, we're looking at some other talent options going in here. It's Vopo Blade and not Master Wall Blade. So the Volpo Blade getting picked up, Draught Overflow, Thunderburn, Pierce coming in as well as Arcane Intellect. This stacks down pretty well with the uh, Pierce and Empower though. I, I'm not sure if it actually stacks though. That's the, that's the thing. I think that it's a great build, but I, I don't know if it actually works. Like every single target you hit, it reduces the cooldown by two seconds. If it does, that's really awesome. But if it does not, that's fine as well. First Tribute. Getting a bit of a contest coming up from Grey Main. VYY in a good spot. Sentinel also flying by. CW also going to be in that area. Stronger cancels the channeling for some extra heals. Murder in a little bit of a trouble right there. Zappy now also dropping a lot of uh, trouble going out there for the Sarah Tool with that much of a solo healer. Taronda, not very good. Nobody's going to go for that uh, channeling point, but it seems like they're going in for a little bit more extra stack damage. Resurgence in a little bit of a bad spot. Vala getting picked up by Vendetta. Caprica still playing, and it seems like Sonia also dropping a little bit of HP there. CW is doing its best, but Jaina's already gone. And it's like 3 4 1 exchange. Make it 4, make it 5 if you can. CW, a little bit of trouble. Misery Pro not able to pick up the skill, but 4 for 1 exchange. What just happened there? Reno Vasho on fire. Doing a great job that game there. That fight there, sorry. I'm calling it game already, but. Really great job. Very good fight by the Filipino team. And if you look at the rest of the talent options, it's also gonna be Arcane Intellect. Uh, Renovash one also picked up the tribute there. They also just hit level seven. It looks like it's gonna be cleansed. And VYY, a little bit of trouble. The poke coming from Zappy. It's gonna be okay though. Oh, the burst from behind. Misery Pro with the pickoff against the Zara Tool. Zappy, unfortunately, just uh, blinked into the wrong corner. Burst just healing on Sonia. Also gonna see uh, Just Keep Rocking. Gonna get picked up there by the ETC. This is the full on Hungering Arrow build that I've been talking about. Siphoning Arrow, Puncturing Arrow, Repeating Arrow. 
I like this build here a lot. It's a solo, it's gonna be able to pick off targets of the Leaming Burst. You're also gonna see Dominance, Calamity, Teleport build getting picked up here by the red team. And it looks like it's also gonna be Incendiary Elixir on the gray main, follow through coming up from Zeratul. Uh, better momentum on this Murden. Actually not gonna be the, um, the standard pickup on the Piercing Bolt, so no two target stuns. Gray main, a nice cancellation on the channeling once more. Are they looking, what's the strategy here for Resurgence? Do they want to try and bait this one out? Do they want to try and split soak the lane? They got a couple of harassments going on. Like you see the Sentinels going in as well as uh, Muradin's uh, Stomp Bolt. Oh, Gilnea did not connect. The CW gonna have to be very careful. Jaina did go down somehow. In the bottom area, Zeppi now looking to finish off this ETC for the trade. Vopo Blade goes back in again, and ETC will go down at the end. Just keep rocking, kept him alive a little bit more. Uh, rather, sorry, the uh, the guitar solo keeps him alive a little bit longer. Just keep rocking, just reduce the, the effect of the slow there. Still, the Filipino team at half a level lead. That's a pretty good, that's a pretty good lead there for uh, Renovasha One Resurgence now. In a really bad spot. They didn't get the tribute just now, so they have to make sure that they stop the next one. But it looks like they're not going to get level 10 unless they go for some kills here. Very hyper rotation centric lineup from Resurgence. Renovasha just playing it cool, playing it slow. Great job there by uh, Renovasha 1. Very good showing today. They're in a really good form. Capricorn, a little bit of trouble there. Meanwhile, on top, tribute going to spawn in just under 10 seconds now. This is the one that matters. It's already level 10, hit here by Renovasho. And uh, Luna Flare from Tanuki, not the best. But they have the Ancestral Killing, they have the uh, Rough of the Berserker, as well as Mosh Pit, Strafe, Disintegrate. Zappi is going to try and wish that he can actually stop this. He can actually do it. Okay, great plays. Mosh Pit only on CW. Some heals going down there, but it's not going to matter. That guy has got Dwarf Toss. They waste the Mosh Pit for 120 seconds. And RSG. They picked up the Tribute, very lucky Tribute on the left side of this battleground. And also, you will see that they need to get a level 10 right now. Probably will be able to get it before the next Tribute phase. Level 10 on this side. Still trying to pick up a bit of an advantage here, but RSG, some rotations going on. You see the bottom area is Epi, looking for the flank, Cone of Coal against Misery Pros. Just a bit of a greeting from Jaina, that's all. Top lane, we're actually seeing VYY up against Vendetta. And he says a pretty good soak here. Not much of a push coming in. Actually, the bottom lane getting pushed out a lot more if you look at the lanes comparison symmetrically. Don't think that there's anything uh, different here or here. So it looks to be pretty okay. Now, next trip we're gonna spot on top. And Jaina's not in the best spot. She's probably gonna arrive last. Vendetta, buying some time. Oh, the Hungering Arrow stops that one. CW did his best to try and uh, hold off the aggression against VYY, but he, go he went for Haymaker again. Zappi, guarding the flank, Yiskoa. Yiskoa still going in. What elemental with a bit of a s s friendly snowball. Zappi looking, who's just coming from the back. Stronger. Did it get cancelled again from Gildan's cocktail? Haha, <laughs> going in and to the front line. Lunafer connecting on the back once more. CW getting a bit of a AoE heal back up. The Void Prisons trying to split the fight into two. Zappi now trying to go in. Just burst down his ETC, and he also will see the gray main and Zer tool combo. Nice haymaker, but is it gonna be enough? A one man stun only on the regular VYY dropping really low, but the ancestral connects once more. Vala goes down on the flip side. Zappy is not in a good spot. Magic missiles does not connect there. VYY also gonna go down. Vendetta is the next target, and he also trades with Regar goes down, making it into a four for one, four for two exchange. Disintegrate coming up. Misery Pro with the aggressive teleport. It still not, does not have enough mana to keep her interested in this fight. CW misses the stun bolt. And Misery Pro not able to do anything. Four for two exchange. Great position there for Resurgence. They're still not able to catch up in terms of EXP. Half a level lead here for the red team, Renovasho. But RSG, they're doing a pretty good job right now. Mid lane, some uh, power slide going in. CW having to pull back out once more. His Koa with the Hungering Arrow doing a lot of a burst actually. BYY on it, Sonia. Just now that fight there. We were not able to bring out the replay, but I think it's okay. We're actually seeing a next fight going on right now. And um, we got that boss getting attempted by RSG. Unfortunately, 
got cancelled there because of the art of the EPC harassment. We have the replay ready now. We're going to bring it out. In the meantime, do not there's a boss attempt on the top right. If we look at this ang angle here, nice, uh, just a very nice haymaker going out and a lot of split poke burst damage coming out, whatever you call it, uh, from the blue team. Single target burst from the gray main, very effective, and then the rest is history. Now we're going back to real time. And as you can see here, the boss just got attempted by the red team. There's also a tribute spawning. Looks like it's uh, it's gonna go to the red team. Very nicely done here by Renovacio. They force out the advantage. And while this tribute's not really key, oh, that sentinel, but no follow-up. Uh, there's also the fact that you have to worry about a second boss. And this is Curse. Very, very good timing. Impeccable timing by Renovasha 1. The heal level 13. Resurgence knew they couldn't take this fight. They don't want to fight this one talent tier down. In, and in just in turn, they lost two bosses. They got to get Curse right now. They're also going to lose the bottom fort. Very good fight here uh, by Renovasha 1. Perfect timing. Level 13 just got uh, hit here by Resurgence. Looks like it's going to be Wormhole as well as uh, Running Wall. We also will see the Thunder Strike getting picked up there by the Murden. Overflowing Light is definitely a good pickup. And look at this one here. Stomp Front, increased cost range. Jaina just wants to stay alive. Uh, she's not going to look for the standard uh, Ice Block. She just wants to have a good range on the Blizzard. Capricorn, a little bit of trouble there. CW with a bit of a stun, great follow-up, but the cleanse goes in, and the three-man Void Prison in the background, completely nullifying the Marsh Pit in front. Haha, in a little bit of a bad spot, but ETC probably going to go down, and Central does not connect his Koa now. A little bit of a bad spot once more, and Blue Team giving chase. Vendetta too far out in front. Disintegrate turns the fight around. Capricorn getting bursted once more. Arcane up goes in. CW, uh, the last arrow turned around. The keep still takes the fall, and Renovash is still ahead, man. One and a half full level lead. That's a great fight for Resurgence, but two for one, it's not going to mean anything if you're not able to keep your keep uh, going, pun intended. 12 minutes in, RSG off to a really bad start. They got a lot of stored EXP in those structures there, but they're going to have to slowly take this fight. Like, they have to start winning fights more than this, and Grey Main, you Grey Main cannot afford to play so aggressively when there's only a solo to run in support. I mean, what do you expect Tanuki to do? It's a, it's a solo Tyrande, and it would have been a lot better if it's Karazine, probably a lot more sustained. But what Tyrande provides would be just the uh, harassment on this battleground, as well as the fact that she does have the Luna Blaze picked up. That's pretty good. Increased range. Uh, probably also going to get a bit of increased damage coming up next. Not sure if it's going to be Ranger or uh, just the increased damage on Luna Flare. Really depends. Right, a bit of a trade up in the sentry point. ETC still got to retain control of the sentry point for the red team. Jaina with the top lane rotation. No, um, no stage dive actually. ETC in a really bad spot, but sidestepping away from the Luna Flare and heals coming from the rest of the team. Very nicely done. Disintegrate being used once more by Misery Pros. 16 just got hit here by Re Renovasha, which is why Resurgence is not really going in for this fight. You see the nurse is still getting picked up by Sonia, as well as Echo Paddle on the ETC. It's going to be able to do some good damage to some uh, nice AoE there, Stone Skin and Earthgrass Totem. Put some extra slow going out, Colossal as well. And on this side, Diamond Skin Illusionist. You could feel the confidence coming out of Renovasho in this game. You could feel that the team is ready. They, they know they want to go to Korea, and they are just very, very convinced about this one. We see some camps getting picked up here by the red team. And Resurgence. Having a bit of a zone out here by the ETC. Stronger gets uh, disrupted by the Sentinel. Donin's Cocktail does not have that range, Vendetta. But his tribute will go towards uh, the red team, Renovacha 1. So level 16 just got hit here. They can actually take this fight. Zappy, a little bit of a bad spot. Goes back in the cloak. Will be okay. But if we look at it, it's actually just the... Um, Concentrative loss as well as uh, rending cleave. Oh, I like that. Uh, give them the axe. Ranger, it's going to be Ranger, so that's uh, a lot more of an AoE damage. Not the exposure by the sen uh, by the Jaina as well. Very, very burst centric. They finally hit the talent here that they require. But is it enough for them to hold on against a uh, survival build on the Li Ming? 
BYY going in a little bit too prematurely. The cleanse coming out. He's going to be okay. They don't have cleanse right now. Zeratul waiting for the flank. Tribute now spawning. Resurgence, they're going to want to take this fight right here. The next fight will be a, a, a curse if they lose uh, the, um, the next tribute. So they have to take this one. Which explains why they're taking a very aggressive positioning here. Zappy throwing out the Walt Elemental. Z uh, sorry, not Zappy. Capricorn throwing the Walt Elemental. Zappy going with some extra poke against BYY. Uh, CW, meanwhile, on the run against the ETC. Zappy's been pretty okay with his um, Void Prison so far. Capricorn getting bursted. Capri in a little bit of trouble. A two man Void Prison. Misery Pro not in the best spot. Also going to see the Sentinel coming through. Zappy dropping a lot of HP, does not have the bling back out. Nor does he have the wormhole. His squad dropping really low. Greymane's gone. Resurgence. All of a sudden losing two members like that. A lot of damage coming from the Li Ming. 34,000 damage from Li Ming. Vala also doing such a good job. Consistent damage dealers at its finest. This it's still okay for them. They took that fight because it's important to take that fight in a moment. Um, if they don't take that fight just now and they let the tribute go freely, this next tribute is actually really hard for them. It's o it will be level 19 borderline for Renovasho. And at the same time, if they lose this next tribute, it's going to be cursed. So you see Capricorn. And a bit of the uh, harassment from the Sentinel. Multiple targets getting pierced there. Capri. Capri in a really bad spot. Capri got to stay alive. No ice bomb whatsoever. Jaina goes down. Very, very bad uh, position for the Jaina. Still great place by Stronger on the uh, Elfgrass Totem, the Elfine Totem, actually. CW now dropping a little bit of HP. Haymaker does not even go through. Zappy coming in with an extra burst in the back line. But Tanuki dropping very, very low. Vanita also not able to take down any target. Greymay now already gone. There goes the Ancestral. Could be game here. 30 seconds before Jaina comes back out. Zappy does have some extra burst, but it's not going to be now. The boss also pushing down this lane. Definitely look like it's game. Misery Pro dropping Zappy. Still having the extra one more back up, but nope, does not have it. A nice stun and slows that Zara Tool actually going down. And ladies and gentlemen, game one will go to Reno Vasho. Resurgence drops the first game. The Singaporean squad not looking so good. They were unbeatable until this point in this competition. They did not drop a single game until this moment, and this is the first game they lost to Reno Vasho. Once again, just showing the Renova show, they came prepared. This draft here, man, it punished. Uh, I think Resurgence did a really, really questionable draft. Like solo healer to Ronda, not good. And at the same time, not going for Karazim whatsoever. That's the problem. We're actually going for a short break right now. We'll be back with the next game in a few minutes. So sit tight, stay tuned, bringing you the SE Originals. This is Babel. We'll be back shortly. It's a little bit of a bad spot. Lens is thundering. CW coming in, going for the mosh pit. Gets that done really well. No stopping whatsoever. But that is central healing. And a follow up stun on Haha. -ha. Also going to see the face mark going through. Zappy dropping a lot of HP. Murden jumps back out. CW looks like he's set, set to go down. Nice of Grass Totem. It's actually going to be a stop everyone there in his tracks. Capricorn takes the fall as well. Two men down on the side of the blue team. And no one yet on the red. Murden heals back up because of his great second win. And Renovacio all of a sudden with the equalizing point here.